Okay, shipping breast milk. Well, I haven't actually shipped any in the mail, but Candid Mommy, or Jenny has sent it in the mail. I'm not quite sure how she did that, but as far as shipping mail, or not shipping, like flying with milk, here's the rules for that. So, you can take a cooler on an airplane, but it has to be less than, less than 50 pounds or they'll charge you out the wazoo. So when you are filling, when you fill your bags, make sure when you fill your bags, you freeze them flat. Like you lay them down flat and they're frozen like this. That way you can stack them easier and it takes up less space. So you can put up to 50 pounds in the cooler and then any extra space. You don't need ice, you don't need dry, you don't need anything like that. Just put some newspaper in there to kind of help insulate and then duct tape all the way around the outside of the cooler and check it in like a piece of baggage. So, um, if you're flying in the U.S., Southwest is probably the best airlines because they don't charge for bags. You get two bags for free. So, when I would go pick up milk from Jenny or when she'd bring it here, we'd always fly Southwest because that way we don't have to pay the fees. You know, it was weird. There was a couple times, um, usually when I would check in at the counter, they always ask what's in the cooler. And... When I would tell them breast milk, even if it wasn't airlines, that I like a time there was a time I couldn't fly on Southwest for some reason, but they never charged me for it. They just thought it was the coolest thing, so they didn't charge me for it. But um, so here is a video that kind of shows my 2,000 mile journey to go pick up 2,050. I don't remember how 22,000. I don't know a lot of milk. So enjoy. All right, here's before. How many is it? Let's see. 250 in each one of those plus all these. They're so stashed. <laughs> 350. Oh my gosh. 200. I'm not sure how many is in like each of those. 200 each or? And then there's the door. <laughs> and all these are 10 ounce bags. And the baby food. More baby food. Oh, yeah. It's the baby freezer. Yeah. <laughs> She's got peas. And this is butternut squash. Mango. Mango. Now, what is the grand total? Oh. How much milk is in there? Um, 2,200? 2,200. Oh, my god. Maybe gosh. a little more. And while we've been here, she fed Sawyer every day. <laughs> so that's even more. I cannot believe it. I'm so thankful. So this is before yeah, and the after. after. The this is how big this cooler is. It's huge. Boys. And it is full. And we packed it so there's no free space in there. <laughs> it's a lot of everything. <laughs> wow. Sawyer's lunch till he's five. <laughs> Oh look! Oh, there's freezer space. Freezer space. She kept the containers. Oh, thank you. I can Dana. eat again. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, this is gonna wait a ton. Let's see if it shuts. All right, Jenny. Perfect. Yay. There's Jenny in comparison to how big. I don't know if they'll be able to tell how big this cooler really is, but it's oh, here's huge. a normal one. Yeah, there's a normal <laughs> It's all nasty. Oh, man. Now, how am I going to get this home? I'm going to attempt to check it in on the airplane, but it's big, and let's just try to see how heavy this is. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> how are we going <laughs> to... I'll probably be buying another airline ticket just for the milk. It's really heavy. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Sawyer, and we're putting it in the cooler. So we can fly, so Candace can fly on the airplane. And we've already filled one completely. Which I think it's overweight. Our goal is to try to keep each cooler under 50 pounds. And so this big white chest underneath there? Okay. Here's the other cooler that we took, but it is too big. This one is... 
big. And it, we can't fit it on the airplane. So we'd have to go buy some more coolers. So yep, we're loading it up. We've done half and we still have this much to go. Oh, we're weighing to see how much. Tell me when it's ready and I'll pick it up. 76.4 pounds. Oh gosh, 76 pounds. So we're going to have to pay extra since it's overweight. Okay, as we load this cooler, we have to be really gentle with the bags because they will get holes in it. And that is the worst thing that can happen because you don't always know if there's a hole in it. And come time to make a bottle, you have leaky milk that is just wasted. So how we load it, we have to stack them so everything, so we can fill up every tiny spot. And I don't think we're going to be able to fit it all. We're probably going to have to take three coolers. <sighs> we're still going. So we just turn them every other way. Second cooler. Oh, I don't know. Can you see it? Can't yet. Alright, move it. 71, 71 pounds. So we have um, about 150. 140, 140, 140 pounds. A lot. Uh, so, here it is. Now what we need to do since there is extra space in there, the best way to make it stay frozen is to, we're going to have to wad up newspaper and stuff newspaper in there to keep it full. Can we get one of them way over and one of them down to 50? We can try. And then we have to duct tape around this. We have to seal it. And then that'll be good for about nine hours. So we try to get some from here to here or here to here? Whatever we have more room. Okay, now we're packing the second one. We've already done one cooler. And we had to completely stuff it with newspaper and then duct tape all around the seam a couple times and then around the middle. And that one weighed about 77 pounds. We couldn't figure it, we couldn't get one to go less than 50, so we're just gonna have to pay extra for double the weight. But it's okay, it's worth it. So my mom's filling it right now with newspaper, and we're gonna duct tape it and be ready to go on the airplane in a little bit. So it's a long process, but it's definitely worth it, and I'm extremely okay, grateful. Here's the final product. They are and the cooler is ready to go. And this doesn't even mention the two weeks worth of milk that Sawyer drank while we were visiting. So this all came from one person. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely incredible. So I'll film again when we get home and show you how it... Okay, we just got home. Out. It's a little after midnight. And we successfully made it off the airplane the heavy tag because this is about 70 pounds just in this cooler and we didn't even fill this one to the top because if it's over 70 they would have charged us an extra hundred and twenty five dollars and there some is and it's still frozen rock solid so I've already started unloading some from this little cooler there's a box right there and yeah there it is We'll turn the light on. There we go. So there's some. We put it in these little boxes. So I got a ways to go, but as soon as I unload it all, all right, we oh. unloaded all the coolers. And you can see how much milk we have. This is three layers deep with boxes and each one of these boxes has about a hundred and see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 70, about 150 and some of the boxes are bigger so there's about 200 to 220 in each box so it's a lot of milk it should last us forever thank you everybody thank you Jenny thank you Lucy you are the best Oh, here's our cooler collection we got over here. The glare on there. Oof, it's dirty. But, um, here's our newest two ice chests. And we'll add to the collection.